Sport, Nick, and we're going to have a bit of fun here. Uh, you might be wondering what these diagrams have to do with sport then. Well, scientists at Yale University in the USA they have calculated the optimal strategy for throwing something accurately, whether it's a dart or a crumpled up piece of paper like this. Well, our science correspondent Helen Briggs has been looking at the research and is here with me in the studio. Um, Helen, just tell me a little bit more about these findings. Well, very complex set of equations there for something seemingly simple, which could be just throwing this in a bin. Um, but actually, physicists have been grappling with this for nearly a century in terms of what actually happens. Of course, once the piece of paper or the dart has left your hand, then it follows Newtonian physics. Um, but there's all sorts of errors you can create in terms in of how space. you throw. Yes, so it's about... Um, the speed that you throw something and it's about the angle that it leaves your arm and it's about this sort of mechanism of, of moving your arm um, and with different sports it can be underarms better or overarms better um, but the scientists have now analyzed it and, and come up with some findings that apply to all sorts of tasks like throwing something into a bin. Oh, it, it, it's interesting because you wouldn't think that so much would, you know, so much science would be going into the whole process because we just throw things. I mean, should we, should we perhaps try? Yes. Uh, okay, can I go, um, go. underarm then? Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay, I'll try again. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I missed both times. <laughs> so I'll try overarm, okay, and then overall. I'll tell you which scientists think is the best method. Okay. So let's see. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Actually, I was closer. <laughs> no. No. Well, no. apparently what we should do when it's uh, something like that that's below shoulder mm. height, not too far away, then you want to do a slow sort of underarm. underarm. So as slow as possible is generally more accurate with something like that. So you do a slow arcing throw and it should land in the bin um, you might so what, 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 why did I go wrong <laughs> <laughs> what went wrong well I suppose it is quite a long way away so so maybe for that sort of distance then you're looking more at speed so that's the other variable here it's speed so when you're trying to throw things fast then generally overarm um, is what you need to do but once you start to throw overarm then you introduce more inaccuracies so it tends to go wrong more because um, it's about the the way the way any error you make in releasing in the releasing. object is going um, to be amplified and you were saying it all varies from from sport to sport so whether it's a dart or basketball it can it can differ that's right so they looked at some sports and they looked at their calculations and say darts for example professional darts it's overarm throwing so they worked out the optimal angle for the dart leaving the hand and and the speed which is apparently about 5.5 meters per second and they looked at some other sports um, and cricket was quite interesting because um, cricket even though you need to throw fast when it's a vertical wicket then they say that breaks the rules so you need an underarm throw um, to hit the wicket in cricket interesting and uh, just briefly it's uniquely to humans animals can't do it this way well that's it so we've evolved to obviously be able to throw because our ancestors had to throw with spears to catch meat otherwise they wouldn't eat so animals don't tend to be able to do it the exception apparently mm. monkeys great Helen thanks so much and uh, that's interesting so just so you know if you want to throw something and get it in do it under under uh, uh, this way and the speed but stay with us we've got lots more coming up in the next edition of impact thanks so much Helen that's great